Hello. Welcome back everyone. There was a technical glitch and during that time I have uh, took the trouble to write down all the equations. So in the last video we have uh, so I'll continue from the last video. Now if we take the moment about there you see here that we have forces mg and then another force which is the effective force along this direction NP. <coughs> so, the moment of this force Mg will be this force into this distance, perpendicular distance Mg and then we have A sin phi. We have this one, Mg S sin phi and then for this uh, effective force we'll have uh, this one, if you look at this element, the force, the effective force of this element P will have this, this one. And then the moment of this effective force will be this one. This force into this perpendicular distance which will be x cos phi. So by DLMBA's principle, we have that this force and this effective force taken all over this rod AB will be equal. So we have this one. And then if you solve this one, we will get this equation 3. So I'll not go into the details of this uh, calculations. And at this point, I'll tell you that uh, you can have the notes in my Google Classroom. You have a look at that also. And then if we divide equation 1 by 2, this is equation 1, and this is equation 2, then we will have this one. 10 theta equal to omega square by g into L sine theta plus A sine phi. Or we can have omega square equal to this one. Now we substitute this value of omega square in equation 3. We get this one. And then if you solve for <coughs> L by A, we'll get the equation we desired. So uh, I hope this uh, uh, this gives us uh, a gist of what DLM Bat's principle is. And lastly, in this, uh, in this problem, we should note that this new force, that is the effective force of a body comes into play. I hope uh, you enjoy this uh, presentation. Thank you.